guys, what's up? Vero here. So, I had no intention of recording this video today, but during my Healing Priest rant, I kind of randomly thought about it, and I thought I would, why well, special my mind, make a video about it. So I wanted to make a video discussing raiding in general, and how it kind of feels like Mythic killed raiding. Um, I realize that sounds kind of weird, but just hear me out for a second. So when Mythic was first discussed, it sounded really cool, you know, 20-man raid, that's really awesome, you know, they can design the mechanics how they want them to be, because it's only going to affect it in 20-man, it's not going to affect 10-man or 25-man or anything in between, it's only going to be for Mythic, um, which I think made it a lot easier on Blizzard, because they could do mechanics that they really wanted to develop and put in the game without having to worry about, okay, how does this affect 10-man, how does this affect 25-man, you know, it's a whole new level of, of awesomeness for them. Um, but for people that were 10-man raiding, it felt like they were being punished because they had to find 10 other players, usually absorb another guild into their guild, and kind of see if they could work together so that they could do Mythic. Um, and the same thing for 25-man. If you were 25-man raiding, you had to kick out five people at least, uh, just so you had, you know, the 20-man roster so that you would be able to raid. And people... They shouldn't get hurt feelings, but people always get hurt feelings if you take someone else over them, especially if they're like, oh, but I do better DPS, and I do better this, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's just how people are. We're human, and, you know, whatever. That's just how we are. So that was kind of the original struggle that existed with Mythic. Um, guilds having to absorb other guilds, um, you know, raid leaders butting heads because they're turned from two different guilds, from two different play styles, from two different, maybe, mindsets. You know, maybe this one is more, you know, assertive and, like, used to than the fire. Stop standing in the fucking fire. Get your shit together. Well, the other one's like, hey guys, you know, I know we're standing in the fire a lot. Can we, you know, maybe improve on that? Can we, you know, let's take a five minute break, um, look through your logs, and then we'll come back. Um, and then you maybe have the other raid leader that just doesn't say anything. And it's really disappointing. But it happened. So for the guild that I was raiding in when Mythic was first introduced, I joined them when they were on the cusp of killing Heroic Garrosh for a 10 man. Um, I ended up being pulled in for a couple bosses um, earlier in the fights, um, not necessarily Garrosh, um, since I didn't really have the gear yet, and eventually I was made a recruitment officer, and the raid leader and GM was like, I want you to find people so that we can do Mythic when it comes out, um, you know, and maybe until then we could just do 25 man, get everybody their mounts, do all that fun stuff, it'll be great. Um, <laughs> he asked me on Thursday, when they killed, or no, he has to be Friday, the day after that they killed Hero Garrosh. By Friday night, I had a website build, forum set up, um, I was posting in the forums, I was posting in trade chat, we had a 25-man roster by Tuesday, and we ended up doing 25-man, um, type of person that you don't tell me to do something, because I will fucking do it, and I will have that shit together, and we're just gonna go, and, you know, we kind of went... You know, I mean, we absorbed 15 people, essentially, although we had a couple extras like myself um, that were already in the guild, and we did 25 man, and it actually went really well, and then eventually we had to do mythic, so, you know, we had to, like, cut people and be like, all right, this week we're going to bring this person, um, you know, maybe, well, next week we'll, next week we'll bring you, um, you know, this person hasn't gotten their Garrosh kill yet, let's bring them in, you know, that sort of thing when it came to mythic, because we ended up having a 31 or 32 man roster, just, be, just in case, because sometimes people you know, have emergencies pop up, and sometimes people just can't be there, or they have something else planned and they just can't log on, and that happens. It's, again, we're human, and it's expected. So it's always safest to have a couple extra. But sometimes even when you had those extras, you were still short, like five, six people, which sucks. And pugging people for Mythic is one of the worst things you could possibly do. Unless you know the person you're bringing in, it's extremely painful. So what ended up happening with the guild that I was raiding in, in the beginning of Warlords of Draenor, as well as other mini guilds that were together, and even like some big, big guilds like Blood Legion and several others, was, at least for premeditated, it was a recruitment issue. Um, finding 20 people that one, get along, two, can sh kill shit, and three, pull their own goddamn weight. Because sometimes you're in a raid and you look at it, and you know it's not always about the DPS, and it's not always about the healing, but in the end, it kind of comes down to it. You know, if you have, you know, two healers doing, you know, all the healing, and then you have a couple that just aren't really healing anything, you know, you kind of wonder, well, if we drop a healer, will that make things easier? Um, are they dying too early in the fight? Which usually it is. 
Um, is there something that we need to work on? You know, same with DPS. Like, you have DPS that are, like, really at the top and that are just, like, kicking some booty. And they have people down at the bottom that are kind of just there and they're getting out DPS by the tank, which happens. Um, maybe they're getting out DPS by a healer. I don't know. And that just gets really frustrating. And so with... But I think what happened with um, premeditated was people... A lot of people quit. I quit. Several other people quit because a lot of people were just tired of raiding period, or just raiding with that guild for whatever reason, and then you try to absorb and just mass recruit, and you bring people in, and you go from maybe an A player to like a C player. And that happens. You know, people have different skill levels, and people have different skill sets when it comes to gaming, and that's totally fine. Um, but maybe they necessarily shouldn't have been raiding with, you know, all the A people if they're a C or something. The downfall of many guilds since Mythic has come out is basically a recruitment issue. And it's also the issue with Warlords of Draenor. A lot of people just aren't happy with the expansion, so they're quitting. I mean, that's why they lost 3 million bloody subscribers. People just aren't happy with the game anymore. And maybe that's because the game, this expansion, wasn't well designed. Or maybe it's also because we're all just getting burned out of the game. I think it could kind of be a little bit both. So that was kind of my rating rant. I mean, although I do enjoy Mythic, and I think it's really awesome that they have it, I think it definitely has its complications. Because if you're in a guild, you know, some guilds are fine doing normal heroic, and that's great. But once you kill all the heroic bosses, you kill all the normal bosses, you want to start doing mythic. You want to start progressing. See where you can take your team and see where your team can go. And if you can't do that because you just don't have the bodies or you just don't have the bodies that are capable of doing it, it can be extremely frustrating for people and it usually results in people quitting or people going somewhere else. And that is unfortunate. But yeah, that was my little uh, rating rant, I guess. <laughs> don't even know if I'm going to upload this. Obviously, if you're watching it, I decided to upload it. <laughs> Yay! But I will talk to you guys later. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button. And please let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on rating Mythic in general and kind of just whatever your thoughts are. Good, bad, in between, whatever. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.